Welcome again! Today, we're going to talk about Starro, also known as Starro the Conqueror. Starro is a gigantic alien starfish and, as its nickname implies, intending to conquer the universe. The ability to control minds of an entire populace through millions of parasitic clones of itself makes Starro a really great threat to Earth and one of the deadliest villains the DC heroes face. On this video, we're going to present you the colorful history of this villain in shows and movies. The Superman Aquaman Hour of Adventure Starro made its first appearance on TV in the Superman Aquaman Hour of Adventure episode called In Captain Kuda's Clutches. In that episode, the villainous Captain Kuda, riding atop Starro, invades an undersea kingdom of jewel people to steal their wealths, but Aquaman stops him. Starro seen here is a pink starfish and doesn't look like the comic's grey version. In addition, it displays no personality or powers of its own. Starro, ink them! <laughs> Superman, the animated series. Starro is briefly seen in the series in the episode The Main Man. Its appearance is of a medium sized purple starfish with a red eye in the middle. It later makes an important appearance in the Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond Starro appears in the episode The Call from the year 2000 and is the villain in that story. Here it takes control of Superman and resides on his body for years, secretly breeding more of his species and creating a big army. Starro is revealed, however, and Batman eventually manages to free Superman from Starro's control. The creature was still a prisoner, but now he had a plan. He'd seen how strong Superman was and he wanted that strength for himself. Justice League – The New Frontier It has a small cameo in the movie where he is seen fighting the Justice League. Here, Starro looks more like a real starfish with dark green and brown colors. Well, except for the fact that this starfish has powers and can take over the Earth, but hey, small difference, right? Batman – The Brave and the Bold Starro's first appearance on this show was in the episode Revenge of the Reach. In the show, Starro's clones arrive on Earth in a meteorite and take control of hundreds of heroes in anticipation of the arrival of Starro the Conqueror. That's what I call teamwork. So many heroes. Intoxicating. I will be there soon. Justice League – Crisis on Two Earths in this movie, Starro appears in flashbacks showing the Justice League fighting with the alien conqueror, which is obviously a reference to the character's first appearance in the comics in the first ever Justice League issue. Young Justice This marks Starro's seventh animated appearance. After being frozen for millennia, still frozen Starro is found by Atlantean scientists and transferred to a science center for a proper study. Soon, Black Manta organizes an attack on the center to retrieve the creature, but eventually shoots a rocket at Starro, blowing it up when his plan fails. Smallville He makes his first appearance in 2011 in the episode called Prophecy. Unlike the other appearances in Smallville, Starro is a silver star-shaped device with a red button on it created by Toy Man to control people. Justice League – The Flashpoint Paradox Starro is seen briefly during Barry Allen's montage of overwriting memories from the paradox he created. Here, we see Starro fighting Justice League, which is of course a reference to the original story in the comics. Robot Chicken It first appears on the show in Season 7 in the episode Starro Attacks. Starro rises up from the ocean in its titanic heights and attacks superheroes across the beach. We also see the legions of miniatures taking over the crowd. However, Starro gets moved witnessing the love between Lena Luthor and Connor Kent to the point to start to cry, only to be pierced by Batman. Way to go, Bats! True love has touched even this old starfish's heart? We have no reason to fight, my friends! Powerless DC Comics fans get their first glimpse of a live-action Starro in the series pilot episode called Wayne or Lose. Starro is briefly seen clinging to a building in the background and then, in the next moment, a green explosion blows it up into millions of pieces, showering down across the city. Say what you want, but we have seen far worse adaptations of DC characters in recent years. DC Superhero Girls 
It first appears on the show in 2019 in the episode Frenemies. Starro is a giant purple and blue starfish with a pink eye in the middle, although with more vivid colors in the style of the show. It has a brief appearance in which it fights the superhero girls, defeats them, and manages to escape. Teen Titans Go Starro is a recurring antagonist in Teen Titans Go. It first appears in the episode Justice League's Next Top Talent Idol Star, Justice League Edition, which aired in 2020. Starro travels across the universe to find and destroy the most talented superhero team in the DC Universe. The Justice League directs Starro right toward the Teen Titans as they are the winners of the contest, most talented team in the DC Universe. It is I, Starro! I have traveled across space and time so that I may destroy the most talented superhero team in the DC Universe! The Suicide Squad Finally, our giant starfish gets a chance to star in the big-budget superhero movie. We see Starro imprisoned in Jotunheim, a Nazi-built prison and laboratory, and being experimented on by Thinker through constant physical and mental torture in a project entitled Project Starfish. Years later, Task Force X is sent to Jotunheim to destroy the prison and all the traces of the project. And, because these mercenaries in the Task Force X aren't exactly the brightest among supervillains, they accidentally set the monster free. Starro causes much destruction and panic in the city as it releases clones of itself that take control of civilians and soldiers and eventually kill them. But you can't really be mad at Starro. Starro never asked for any of this. The Starro of the Suicide Squad is not a conqueror, but a victim. As it dies being stabbed in the eye with a javelin by Harley Quinn, Starro tells Bloodsport, I was happy, floating, and staring at the stars. I was happy, floating, staring at the stars. <laughs>